guys. Boo you. What's going on guys, Boaty here, welcome to the evolution of Boaty Day 14. So it has been a while since I created one of these videos, so let's just, um, as I put on the start of this video, I did actually put the final clip of uh, Day 13 uh, in front, just to pretty much remind you all of uh, where I'm up to, but if I quickly all remind you now before I do my um, spins, my stats are here, like I said, nothing has changed really since like Day 13, 12, I mean, sorry, except for my fishing, but today I'll probably be working on some quest requirements and all that, and I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get up to, but I will try and get... A fair bit done today. But anyways, let's start off as usual with my spins. So I haven't done any spins. I could have logged on and done two spins, but I couldn't really be bothered. So I have actually done no spins for a long time. So let's do them now. Get anything good. Get a thousand GP and a thousand GP. So quite horrendous. But oh well. Anyways, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I shall be getting around to this in a moment. Okay, so to start off this stream, I plan to try and hopefully, well, yeah, hopefully get a 55 making by the end of today, but instead of just going to buy the logs and doing that, I do need to get like 57 woodcutting in the future, just for some quests, obviously, I need to move that on to like 72 woodcutting in favor for some further quests, but I need to get a 55 making at the moment, and I need 977 willow logs to do that. Therefore, I'm going to go cut myself some willow logs, get myself some woodcutting experience, closer to my level 50 goal, and I also get myself the fire making level needed. So I'm not sure how long this will take, but oh well, let's go and do it. 40 wood cutting, yay! 41 wood cutting, now I can wield my rune hatchet. Yeah. 42 wood cutting! Polypore staff's just chilling, as you do. 43 wood cutting. 44 wood cutting! That is a rather tasty looking egg. Let's get myself a Zamorak bird in the future, no problem. 45 wood cutting! Can't you give me a seed? Oh, a silly ring. Bin ticket, let's go. Come on, give me something good. Uh, I'll claim it. It's free XP. 46 wood cutting. 47 wood cutting. 48 wood cutting. One to go until the big 50. 50. It's nice to see. Anyways, uh, I'm I'm like um, four inventories. I'm probably not going to get... Yeah, I won't get 51, but I'm four inventories off, so I'm almost done here. Now we can go uh, crack on with some fire making. Okay, that is all my logs cut. Now, once I uh, once put these into the not the healer statue, once I put these into here, I've cut exactly a thousand willow logs. So, the thing that I kind of realised halfway through doing this is, once I get forty five fire making, I probably want to go and do some maple logs, but I didn't cut any, so I will be doing willow logs all the way to fifty fire making. It should take me about an hour, I'd say. But let's roll. Just because I'm in the mood to be an old school peasant, I am going to be training my fire making where I would normally train my fire making if I was getting the requirements on de for Desert Treasure on a when defense pure. So I know I'm going to lose a lot of time doing this because it's a slow method. I'm just in the mood to fire make across Sears Village as I always do back in the day. Right, so I'm going to be leveling up fire making uh, pretty often while doing this, so. I'm not just going to turn it off for every level, really, so I will come back when I hit 45 and I'll come back when I hit 50. Not happy about this one. There used to be a flower there, and I'm sure everyone that fire makes here, there was a flower there which would always interrupt your fire making, and it was not a happy flower. Right, okay, so the stream has asked me to whip out a tinderbox and to do this properly. If I can actually left click this, then, yep, I'm going to fire make with the tinderbox as you do. Oh, why would it not let me stand there? As you do. Just doing some typical Zarfot bomb firing and, well, sorry, some Zarfot fire making, and I unlock a nice musical track. Woohoo! Okay, so we're at our um, the 45 mark for the maple logs, so currently I'm actually, well, was attempting to do a, a try-hard inventory where I actually throw one on the bonfire before lighting the next one, but... CBA! Okay, there we go, 55 making, it's not making me like this next level, okay, I didn't do it. Alright, that's 55 making done, so that is a bit of the skilling done, I'm now going to take a break from skilling and do... Do some quests now, I'll probably go back to the skilling again, but I guess if I just had a full episode of skilling, it'd be so boring, so... Right. I do plan on doing the underground pass today, but I'm probably going to do some newbie quests first of all, just to get back into the mood of questing. Alright, so the first quest I'm going to do is going to be the Temple of Ikov, and I need to try and remember the order of doing this, so if I just grab all these, a load of energy... Oh, get out of my face. And I can run to the bank to get the... The Limpwit Roots. And the Temple of Ikov speedrun begins! Some quests, though, they're quite hard to actually get a decent speed run on because when it comes down to things like this where I have to search the chest to get some arrows, <laughs> it can just lay out in the worst way possible for me where it takes absolutely ages for me to get them all, so a lot of time gets added on by default. But, yeah, apart from this, I think it'll be fairly quick for me to do this. Okay, apparently ranging abilities do not use arrows, so therefore I'm going to attempt this with 11 arrows. 
Uh, normally I try and aim to get about 25, but oh, let's give this a go, I guess. Have they up graphically updated him? Yeah, they have. And the ultimate has slayed him. I didn't use a single arrow, so for anyone who wants to know if you can use arrows here, you don't have to. Okay, come on, this is going to be a beautiful, a beautiful, please end the quest. Oh, beautiful time. 9 minutes and 26 seconds in Temple of Icon. I'm happy with that one. That was really quick. Give it that experience. Right, so after the underground pass got absolutely slayed, I'm now going to do the big chumpy bird hunting quest, but for that I need to actually get 30 cooking. However, that shouldn't actually take too long if I just cook trout all the way there, so let's get 100 trouts. Okay, apparently I said I slayed the underground pass when I didn't even do it, so I slayed the Temple of Ico, and I'll be doing the underground pass after I get 30 cooking to do the big chumpy bird hunting quest. There you go. Okay, so that is 30 cooking done and done, so time to go and do the... The, 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 the big jumpy bird hunting quest. Okay, as you can see, I've got the quest requirements all ready to be done straight away, so this quest shouldn't take me too long, but hey, let's go. If I burn it now, I'm going to kill someone's life, but I'm pretty sure that should be done. Yep, and this is going to be sub six if I can do this quick enough. Come on, kill him on, and done. Right, <laughs> five minutes, 48 seconds, big jumpy bird hunting. Not bad. Anyways, I still have my spins from um, Temple of Ikov, so let's go. Anything good? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to claim that because I do have crafting to get in the future. Could have took 50k there, but I think I want the crafting. Three 1Ks! What a waste. So this has probably been a moment that a lot of people have been waiting for, my attempt at speedrunning the underground pass. So as you can see, I've got everything I believe I need for the quest itself, even invested in some mystic to hopefully get the best results. So... Once the quest starts from King Lathus, I shall be running in. I really hope I can get through the door straight away to the um, West RD, but oh well, let's go. Okay, let's have a small time up update on this one. We're currently at 7 minutes and 30 seconds up to this stage of the quest, so hopefully I won't get sucked down into the swamp at this point, but we are almost at the Unicorn, so that's a small time span of where we're up to. Well, uh, overall, my time has overlapped what I was going for, but I had a lot of difficulty around the Paladins and all that. I just made it a pretty difficult. However, I'm about to run out of energy, so that's also going to um, mess up my time overall. But yeah, I'm not really after beating the time I got because the chance of be getting it are practically zero, especially when it's doing things like this to me where I can't get around this. What? <laughs> Can I move? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the quest is now done. So I did it in 31 minutes and 8 seconds, a couple of seconds last thing because I didn't end in time, which is still a good time. I never expected to beat my record because, like I say, all the time I just consider it unbeatable really but for anyone that was wondering uh, I did it in 23 minutes and 26 seconds the full quest so if anyone wants to try and beat that good luck with it however I should soon get a, a little certificate for the regicide quest to do I can't do that yet because of my agility level however I could just use yeah I might just summer pie it and get that done with as well as for my next quest I'm not sure yet but let's do my spins underground pass should give me something good I don't, know, I don't even train so there. whatever thank you now they'll be seen again out of pickaxe well, there's the Regicide Scroll, so I'll have a crack at that later. Okay, so 45 mining, nothing spectacular, but I don't know why I'm dropping them, because everyone's going to leave a comment saying, oh my god, you can just hold down free, I'm just like, oh my god, I know that. Anyways, I'm going to move on to doing a bit of cooking, not sure how much cooking I'll do, but once I've done some cooking, I'm going to hop on and do some quests after that, so... To Edgeville. Ah, don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? So this is why Crow1009 is not making any more videos. Get ready for this. The ultimate chomp. Mm. Dead. The funny, the funny thing is the bot just goes straight up and doesn't get eaten. 999 total. Bot to get the 1000 total milestone. 1000 total level. There we go. It's looking nice in the four figure total levels. Small milestone, I guess, for the series so far. So that's quite good. It took me 14 days to get there. Not that impressive. Obviously, I've got a lot of skills that I could have just got there extremely fast. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with 1000 total. So that's good. Let's continue on to the whatever my next goal is. Okay, so these salmons have been successfully cooked and ready to be served to some hungry killer whale out there who's hungry for a salmon. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to now work on a. Um, Pretty much having a go at some more runecrafting. I plan to try to split my quick, because I think at the moment the more exciting part of my live streams and my videos are doing quests 
not scaling. The scaling is the boring part. So I need to try and split them up so I can keep it going instead of when I'm just doing solid skill streams then just blowing all the quests I could do in one stream and then going back to scaling for three weeks, really. So I need to try and split it up uh, properly. So therefore, I'm going to try and do some runecrafting for the rest of, um, well, for a bit and we'll see where that takes us. 40 runecrafting so far. Nothing um, amazingly special, but I'll have a small progress update, I guess, of runespan. And 45 runecrafting. So that is me done for two day all right guys so that has been it for day 14 so i do hope you have actually enjoyed today i did actually get a lot done for getting back and i'll show you that now simply the fact that i believe i started today with less than 900 total i'm kind of guessing that so it's probably wrong but overall the amount of levels i've got i'm now over a thousand total i'm 1018 total level if you just look at my stats they are looking quite nice so i do kind of plan to actually if i can round everything to like a, a good 50 in the future i think it'd look really nice however i might aim for a 60 because that look even nicer but yeah i'm still trying to focus on my quest but yeah like i said i'm trying to separate out my quests and my skills so i can actually supply live streams that are interesting to watch because i don't really want to live stream nine hours of straight skilling not many people will enjoy it so yeah i am trying trying to make it up so as for today i'm also found out that i can actually be just pretty quick quick chat my quest points so you can see i've got 106 quest points along with all these skills it's going good guys it's been day 14 thanks for watching and i shall see you all in the next episode whenever oh yeah